Moving on, we have the chain function, which comes from the iter tools module. So if you want to combine two lists together in Python, there's a few different ways to do that, but a common approach is to simply add them together. When you do that, all the values from list two will be added to the end of list one. But what this is going to do is immediately create a new list for you that has all of those different values. That means that all of those values are going to be stored in memory immediately, and you have them there even though you might not necessarily need them at the current point in time. Now what the chain function will do is effectively the exact same thing as this list concatenation, but rather than creating a new object in memory and immediately storing all of these new values, it's going to create an iterator that will step over the values from, in this case, list one and list two. Now, when we use an iterator, the values are not immediately available to us. What that means is that we're going to access them when we actually need them. Now, if you haven't looked at iterators before, I understand this can be a little bit confusing, but a lot of objects in Python, you'll notice you need to use this list function on. If you want to actually view what they are and print them out in the console, you first have to convert them to a list. So something like the map object or the filter object, or in this case, the chain object. And the reason for that is that they're not actually a list, or they're not a tuple. They don't have all of the values immediately available. Instead, they just return the values when they're needed. That means that you're not storing all of these values in memory at the time that you create this new object. You're simply making an object that allows you to access them when you need them. Let me show you what I mean by this. So when I run the code here, you can see that we get the same thing. However, if instead of converting this to a list, I just use the chain function here, you'll notice that when I print this, I get this iter tools chain object. That's telling me that this is actually an iterator and it doesn't yet have all of the values. It's waiting until I actually need them. 